Cheers to Dave with the travel. Of course, it is quiet on the roads and we remind you to only go out if absolutely necessary. We're all in this together on Lanx FM. This is Lanx FM. So we're delighted to be joined by Travis Lewis. Uh, he's a midfielder for Blackburn Rovers Football Club. Um, how are you, Travis? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, yourself? Yeah, not so bad, not so bad, mate. Um, how's life in self-isolation for a footballer? Oh, it's a bit crazy, really. I'm not always used to um, getting in a routine, getting up at the same time, getting ready to do my job. But um, it's crazy seeing as everybody's got to stay in, obviously, with the government guidelines. That's the best thing to do. But I've just been uh, trying to keep myself as fit as possible, really. Brill. So you, you're getting a bit of training in? Yeah, so probably um, I do it most days, really. There's a park right by mine, so... Um, I'll just go there with my um, girlfriend all, all by myself and just do some running drills, a bit of football drills that have been set to us by the uh, sports science department. Brilliant. So y- you mentioned your girlfriend. What's it like going out with a Love Island star? Dad, that ain't me. That ain't me. That's... Oh. Oh, sorry, that's my, that's probably, uh, that's that's my producer. Same apartment, mate, but not all that. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. So apart from training, what have you been up to in self-isolation playing some computer games you know just staring at the flowers in the window yeah yeah well i'm into me fortnight and uh, i've been um searching netflix for the best series uh that me and Anya can watch really i think we've gone through most of them already to be honest <laughs> <laughs> right well we've had some supporters send in some questions um so uh i'll just pick one here's one who's got the better teeth you or ben brereton <laughs> me or ben brereton yeah. No, I think uh, I think Ben Brereton's got one of the worst teeth in the um, in the club, so I think I'll, I think I'll take that one. <laughs> uh, just 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 tell us about the whole fist pump celebration. How did that all come about? Uh, really, I I don't know. I, don't, I haven't really scored that many um, that many goals in my career, but um, obviously when I do, I've just it's it's very like foreign to me, so I'll just go crazy and do whatever pops up in the heads, really. And so, and celebrate with the fans. Have the fans got a song for you? Uh, I don't think they've got a song for me as of yet, but I heard a little chant stuff like that, but not one that's stuck. I think. Oh, go go on, sing. <laughs> I can't remember, I'm, not like, I'm not the best singer, mate. I'm not the best singer. Well, growing up a Manchester United fan, it, it must have been a boyhood dream come true to to come through the youth ranks at Man United. What was that like? I was, um, I was, I went through the youth ranks at Liverpool in it. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, it's the producer again. Um, <laughs> did you feel any added pressure making that big money move from Southampton in the summer? Uh, and how how was that for you? That weren't me either, bro. Oh, right. <laughs> that was Sam Gallagher. Okay. Um, Different players. Um, from uh, I come from Liverpool when in the I went through Liverpool from like under nines to under eighteens, and then from there I went. So when you joined Rovers, what were your initial thoughts about the place? Well, to be honest, when um, I left Liverpool, I got released halfway through my scholarship um, in under 18s. I was just, you know, I was a bit down in the dumps. Really, didn't really know what to do. But um, Blackburn took a liking to me, and uh, I took a two-week trial on there. And uh, to be honest, I haven't really looked back since. Um, I think they cared for all the players whether they had intentions with them progressing or not. I think they had the best intentions for everybody. Um, and I think as soon as I went in there, I fitted straight in. Obviously, I started off as right back and progressed to centre mid. But I think all the coaches from under-18s, Billy Barth to under-23s, um, Damien Johnson and obviously David Dunn, they were amazing for me. And I think I've improved 10 times. It's what I would have done at any other club. So I'm very thankful for, obviously, for all uh, them coaches and... Um, yeah. So the grass was greener on the on the other side for you. Yeah. Um, I've got here that you're half German, I believe. Can you teach us a few German words or, or phrases? Well, not, half, not half German, mate. You've got all the squad mixed up here, oh. bro. So, y- did you represent Namibia at the Africa Cup of Nations? Nah, that's Ryan Niambi. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Nah, English, mate. Born and bred, me, pal. Right, well... Uh, Travis, just just one last thing, because we don't want to keep you because we know you're hard at work training for when the when football finally begins again. But it's International Dinosaur Day today, and, and we've had listeners ringing in uh, all morning, making their best dinosaur sounds and, and impressions. Could you give us your best Jurassic Park? 
Jurassic Park. Um, one of them pterodactyl or T-Rex thing. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> That's got to be good. That's good. Just take one, we're taking that. Take one, we're taking that. I can't what, wait to what? listen to it tomorrow. <laughs> uh, out of interest, what's your T-Rex? T-Rex. Oh. T-Rex. This is weird, because I watched uh, Jurassic, Jurassic World the other day, and... Oh, mate, I can't even do that one. I can't do that one. Well, Travis, thank you very much for joining us on Lanx FM. Um, have you got any more words for supporters? No, obviously, um, just everybody needs to stay safe and uh, hopefully we'll be back on the grass making a lot of fun memories very soon. And from one Travis to another, here's Travis. Oh, and before you go, what day is it today, Travis? We're all mixing into one, mate. What, as in the date? Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's the, the 1st of April. Mm-hmm. Wednesday. What's the 1st of April? April of... Oh, you d***. Happy April Fool's Day, Trav. Oh, mate. <laughs> Do you know what? I was thinking, I'm thinking, I'm going to ring Rob after this thing. Who the f*** is this? <laughs> Rob, you've got me, you've got me pulled off on the f side of the road doing for, oh my God. I was thinking, man, what's this guy? You do a great pterodactyl. Oh my God. Fair enough, mate. Well played. 1-0 use. Well done. <laughs>